In this video, I'm going to be giving you a consistent way that you can absolutely beat man-to-man, -man, whether it be press man or cover zero man coverage out of the uh, five wide Steelers five wide offense in Madden 21. This is a concept that's worked for years. I believe it will also be very consistent for you in Madden 22. Now, if you're new to the channel, my name's Cody. It's great to meet you. I hope you've had a great weekend. And we're doing a series right now. My, my channel is all about helping people become better Madden players. So if you're looking to get better, hit subscribe. We post videos every single day that can help you do that. And we're talking right now about our five wide empty tray stack out of the Steelers playbook. Every single play in this playbook or this formation is usable. And that's why I like it. It's really consistent. It's really unique. Um, and I, it's a lot of fun. It really is. So stick and nod is what we're going over today. This is a great little man beater. Um, as you can see here, it's a double move concept. And uh, this is something that I like to use really um, when I want to really open up the middle of the field. Um, the, you know, this is something I'll use after I've maybe ran a lot of bench corner or a lot of um, curl switch. This is a great concept to go to. So uh, anyways, all that to say, uh, stick and nod from Empty Tray Stack. Now, if you want to get the full five wide scheme, be sure to join my True Fan membership. My True Fan membership is just five bucks a month and you get access to all of my latest offensive and defensive schemes as well as my pro player breakdowns. So if you want to get an additional 12 videos every single month that are really deep dives into the deep, deep tactics of the game then be sure to grab that five bucks a month you cancel at any time and our whole scheme from the five wide is in that play in that system right now for you so all that to say let's go over stick and dot now um really the money route on this play i'm just gonna snap the ball i want you to watch what happens um you're gonna see here that if they're impressed man this concept on the left side is really 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 good as you can see right here every single time it's a touchdown if they run press man, touchdown. That's why I like this formation so much. I don't have to deal with press man. I really don't. Um, people, if they want to run press man, they're going to have a long day. Um, what you can also do, you can also mess around with this triangle receiver and do you know different things. But I find that the out route is the most consistent. If you want to use a whip route, just to give yourself a little bit more spacing, you'll see here it does give a little bit better separation on that. Um, just a hot route and whip route. So, you know, I like that. And the reason why I like that is let's say that they run something like they're shading up. You've got Slotomatic on this guy and regs or, or in, you know, that's, you know, I don't know. I mean, you can put an ability on him, whatever. But if they shade up in man, watch, he'll kill man coverage. Um, he doesn't kill it there. But 90% of the time, he's going to get separation that is absolutely out of this world separation. He's going to get really good separation on this whip route. Um, and you're going to see he's going to put in a lot of conflict. So right there, easy. That's what we're looking for. And we're getting up field for about seven, eight yards. Really easy little man read. Really, really easy. Um, saves the serves the same exact purpose as a press man in route or um, a press man out route, that whip route. You see how he just takes the coverage and the deep half. All I'm doing is pass leading that to the left. And as you can see, the deep half does not play me. And I am killing uh, press man. Absolutely killing it. Okay, they're not going to be able to run press man, and that's the point. They're not supposed to be uh, against this formation. Okay, we're going to kill press man every single time. So um, that's the left side. Um, it, it really is. That's pretty much it. I like to use it if press. If I don't see press, so let's say I get a look like, uh, I mean, you you probably will always see press. Honestly, um, you know, if I see this look and they're doing something like that. The only thing that I'm going to do differently um, is I'm going to take triangle and I'm going to put him on a quick slant and then I'm going to take square and I'm probably going to put him on a curl and just motion him out just like that. And now I've got a hot read right there in case they're blitzing me heavy. Okay. I don't normally have to do that. Normally they're impressed man and normally I'm just leaving that two-man concept over there because if they run press man I want to be able to have an answer for it okay so anyways let's show you now a different covered shell so I showed you the zig um, you'll see here against off man the zig is really good whoops I accidentally ran commit but against off man the zig is really really good we talked about this you know I'm not going to continue on it but the zig's good throw the zig against off man uh, really really good if they have a, I mean, 
I just really like this this right here. I this makes it so they can't run press man. So like, let's just show you here. So if they if they do that and they're in press man, and there's nobody over the top, um, right there they were able to get it off. If they are able to get it off, then you're going to go back and work your three man concept on the right. Now, really important tip on the right side. I typically don't like the vertical on the right because it doesn't really fit with the context of what we're trying to call this play to do. Um, I really don't think it's that good against zone either. It's really a cover two thing. And I find that it's a lot better of a route to either use a curl or a smart routed dig. Curl or smart routed dig. Typically the curl is really good for me, um, just against man to man. I guess I ran command again on accident, huh? Sorry about that. Uh, I guess we're, I don't know how we're hitting that, but uh, <laughs> anyway, let me pass commit here. Hopefully that hopefully that registered as a pass commit because that's what most people will be doing anyway. But the reason I like a curl is just because it helps, it continues to help against press man. And as you see there, R1 is your number one route against man. Your number one route that is going to be super, super consistent against man-to-man -man in this game is the route to the R1 receiver. Okay, that route is so good at beating man. The stick and nod route is okay. Um, it's more of a route running thing. Honestly, typically when someone sees stick and nod, they're going to go right to the tight end route. Uh, typically, that's what their move is going to be. They're going to always do that. Uh, pretty much from what I've seen, that's, that's kind of the way they're going to defend this. So their user is going to kind of drift back in this area right in here. Okay, that's very likely to happen. That's why I like having that R1 route where you'll see he's not going anywhere. Now, you can also motion this in. If you want a little better spacing on this concept, um, I do like to motion in. It's just break, the one thing is he's bringing them into the user. So, you know, I could do the same kind of thing that I do out of the bench corner play where I motion him in, motion him back out. Now I've got a lot of separation over here. Look at that. There's the guy's not even within five yards, and I'm throwing that. That also makes that specific route much better against press man. Um, so if you get a press man look real quick, let me show you that. Um, you know, he's not going to get jammed, but let's say they're in dollar or something, and he does. You're just going in, back out, and just watch how he just works this guy against man. You know, for a nice, easy read. Just really opening up the middle to throw that route. Now, in the off chance, um, like I said, uh, that you get, you know, you get a off man coverage, and let's say they go with R1, that's where I really like a dig route to the circle receiver because you'll see here, he's coming right over that pocket, okay? So you've got a great opportunity there. The other thing that you could do, like I said with circle, um, the only reason I don't like to do this is if you get a read like this, where you get um, where you get these linebackers in the seam flats, that's where I don't necessarily love the curl route because it doesn't um, the the seam flat zone will kind of get out there. So you'll see here, I mean, you see I, I try to throw this, it's a pick every time. Whereas if he's on an in route, that he'll eventually outrun that zone. So that's just something to think about. Um, another thing you can do, and I don't I haven't talked a ton about this concept. Again, this is primarily shaded man. But another thing that you can do is just put him on an in um, or a drag. So you see something like this. And basically now what you've done is create levels to the right. So now R1's the second receiver coming. So now you got two. So you got the drag, then you got R1. And as you can see, so those are a couple of different ways that you can use this concept. I don't run this unless they are running a lot of man. If they're running a lot of man, this is my favorite play to beat man. Um, there's another route, like if you have Hot Route Master, there is one other thing you can do. Um, so if I have Hot Route Master, what I can do is I can put Triangle on a corner, and you'll see that it's going to create the same concept, the same stack um, technique. But now we have a streak, a corner, and then if we and then we have a drag route if we want it. So you know now it could look something like this, where we have corner, vertical, and then we have drag coming across. So now, look at these routes just work right off natural pick and rub there, and then I can hit the R1, okay? So a lot of fun to run this concept. I hope you enjoyed it. This is a great man beater. If the off chance that you get zone, I didn't cover zone yet. 
in the off chance that you are going to, like maybe they just mix it up and they run zone. Left side concept, the zig is pretty good. Um, but really the main read is R1, the high low between X and R1. But just see here, the zig, it does pretty good. You can check it down for an easy five. And if you don't get that read, typically we've been building this habit that they have to go to that side. So they're going to at least start there. And if they start there, then you're going to get this route. R1 is going to get in a good spot against the defense. You'll see he'll get underneath everything. So he just gets underneath everything, and it's an easy five. So if you get a zone read, that's kind of how I handle that. Um, it's not the only thing you can do. The stick and nod route I haven't gone over too much. It actually is a really good zone beater. It's just you have to understand that it's very likely the user is going to go to that, and which is fine. We, we want to make him have to respect it. So if he doesn't go to the, the stick and nod, just low ball right there, or not low ball, but just inside pass lead in front of the safety. As you can see, it puts him in a really good spot. The other reason why I like this, and this is why I like the or the um, the dig to the backside guy, um, the smart routed in route. And the reason I like the smart routed in route is because in a zone situation, the user is almost always going to go to R1 once he recognizes that. So then look at this route coming in behind it. Now, again, right there, he didn't go underneath like I wanted him to. But you've got that. If you had like a – the one thing that I wish this had was – that in route that you get out of um, some of the other plays in this offense because the one problem with that dig is just where he gets open it, it really is like it, for zone it's a lot better spacing to motion this guy in right here and snap it just like this uh, for zone because you see now we've got different spacing and opens up that pocket back there to be able to throw it so you know against man you man coverage it still works fine like if you want to motion this guy in you certainly can and what you're going to find when you do that you get this guy right here they'll get right next to each other and they kind of work off of one another really well so you know just kind of use your discretion on that but that's how i would work that concept it's really good against man if you want to learn the rest of the steelers five wide i would encourage you to join our true fan membership um it's five dollars a month and you can cancel at any time that you want um, but we're going to be doing this throughout the rest of Madden 22 uh, as we're getting ready for launch. And basically what you do is you get all my most up-to-date stuff. All my up-to-date schemes, my studies on pro players, everything that I do deeply in the game, you get it. It's the most in-depth piece of content that I've ever created. And so if you want to get access to it, I'd encourage you to do that. It updates every single week um, for all of Madden 22 seasons. So thanks for your time. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you want to get that true fan membership, the link is in the description.